organizers of this recognition program. Uh, I've been in touch with Jesus San Pedro and Pamela Avila uh, for the invitation. I am deeply proud and honored to be here with you guys today. After two weeks of traveling for me, I just flew in uh, last night. I couldn't say no to uh, being here. Firstly, because I owe a lot to the Institute of Chemistry. My humble beginnings started here. So I am honored and deeply humbled by this opportunity. So, first of all, if they could have it differently, I would probably be not here on stage with you guys. But I think I could have been here on this side as parents of a chemistry graduate. I got my BS degree in IC in 2000. So that's 23 years ago. I could have literally, if I started early, could have a graduating chemistry uh, kid here. <laughs> and I would be there. But, you know, life has its um, surprises. And if you ask me, did I have my life planned out from graduation in 2000s to now? Well, the answer is obviously no. So, as what we heard from the speech of Dr. Lim, there are uncertainties along the way. But again, we take opportunities from those um, uncertainties, we open new avenues, we adapt. Okay? So, what do I want to um, impart to the graduating class? Well, this morning, I want you to remember CRUSH. Who is CRUSH? I'm inspired by my CRUSH during your, uh, during your degree. Whoever is your CRUSH. So, um, CRUSH is our theme for today. So, CRUSH, communication, respect, utilize, seek, and harness. Okay? In short, CRUSH. Okay? So, um, hopefully, after this, you can find some encouragement on how to face life. And it's our many director in your salary. Okay? So, first of all, communication. It has been my total quotes among our uh, graduate students at MSI. And we have to say to them, Communication is a key to a successful relationship. Uh, so, because now you have to learn to communicate with your supervisor, with your employer. You also have to communicate among your coworkers right? and also your family, friends, and communication. Well, it helps us avoid misunderstandings. It's a skill that we have to learn. Right? And assignment is also communication is always part of our business. Communication between and among scientists and also communicate communicating your findings with the general public. So among your undergraduate thesis, do not think that it will end there. Right? Your undergraduate thesis should now transcend and be communicated with your fellow scientists. A lot of I am very happy to see in the program that a lot of you guys presented in conferences. So congratulations with that. So some undergrad that's an achievement yan. Uh, and that's the first part of communicating with your fellow scientists. And again, there is also communication through your um, publications. So we hope to see publications from your undergrad thesis as well. Um, 
officers in demand yet for uh, sa mga chemistry graduates. You have the power to protect the environment. It's in your hands. For those going to med school, and I know several of you are, um, you now have the power to, again, improve the lives of people. Improve their quality of life. Okay? For those who will work in the industry, you have the power to innovate, to make better products, sustainable products. And for those going into the academia, do not forget compassion. Tama ba? <laughs> Remember the compassion from your um, faculty. But kidding aside, for those going into the academia, you guys will train the next generation of chemists. Great chemists can only multiply. And for mentors like me, I'm very happy to see my students to become better, mm. better researchers. It can only, well, it should be the way of life. Students should become better than their mentors. Mm -hmm. You should go higher and aim bigger. Next, seek. Seek your passion. Each of us have different interests and reflects your individuality. It's important to find your passion in whatever you do. And after that, everything will be fun and you will enjoy what you are doing. You may take longer than others to find your passion. And that's perfectly okay. You may have a different route. It's not a straight line from point A to point B and I'm here with my passion and what I want to do. You may take a curved path longer than others. But what would be important would be you find what you want to do. And so when my students would ask me uh, what would be my advice for them when they go for their PhD. I always tell them, or I ask them, is this what you really want to do? Um, getting your PhD is a lifelong commitment. Going to med school is a lifelong commitment also. Going to the industry is a lifelong commitment. So, you have to find the stuff the good stuff, the stuff that you want to do, and commit yourself to it, and promise to do that you will accomplish or do it in an outstanding way. Okay? Being passionate about what you do, it brings you or keeps the fire burning and will give you the energy for you to push on. Next, harness chemistry skills. I know your batch has experienced the difficulty of learning during the pandemic. You survived. And, but then the pandemic also um, brought about unexpected circumstances, especially for um, your laboratory classes, right? But the learning lab. And I heard this from my students. They had the hesitation or they didn't know if they were prepared to work in the lab or not. Um, as I would say, learning is lifelong process. The learning curve will also always be there. But what would make a difference would be your attitude towards that learning curve. Susuko ka ba o hindi? Are you ready to embrace
embrace the learning curve. Okay? So be open to learning new skills, improving old skills. And I'd like to say a shout out to my four academic kids. We have a round of applause. 